In this lesson, I'm going to show you about cropping a picture. If you remember, I've explained before that cropping is basically just cutting off certain sides of a picture, readjusting it. So let's pull up a picture, this vanishing point in the samples, and let's choose the crop tool. So you basically click, hold, and pull for the crop tool. Now, you notice how it's constraining it. It's not allowing me to pull it out this way, right? Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> okay. Now I can undo. All right, undo crop. Basically, you're constraining it by these dimensions up there. So, if you don't have anything in there, you're not constraining it. Let me hit enter to show you what I mean again. So if there's nothing in width and height, because remember whenever we choose a tool we have more options up here. What do you want the revolution, resol, revolution, resolution to be? 72 ppi should be enough. But if you put a width in here, let's say 5 by 5, it's going to, no matter how you pull it, it's going to try to make it an even square wherever you pull. Or if you had it 5 by 20, it's going to want a longer rectangle no matter how you pull it. So if you want to have complete control over how what, what size square you're cropping, just don't put anything in there. Then we can click, pull, like so. I'm going to grab that. Now once you release, you're given all these different points. So you could make it larger this way, I'd bring the corner in. You've probably seen stuff. Now what this is going to do, this crop tool, as soon as I hit enter, it's going to delete the rest of the picture, crop it all out except for this section that I chose. Now what the advantage of cropping is not only could maybe you want just a piece of a picture mounted maybe on a white background to make it look nicer, you may want to change the positioning of the object. So let's take this, um, will it allow me, no. All it's doing is moving the selection area. Basically, you notice how these arrows change as I go around it? So that means that I can rotate like so. See? That selection. Like so. So, what I want to do is I want to I want to pick it even with the brush because it, what I want to do in the end is make the brush look straight on a picture rather than all to the side like this. So I'm going to try to get the angle of this close to the brush. Once I think it's close, I hit enter. And now you see how it straightened the square out and now the brush looks straight. So that's just a way of taking a picture and rotating it, cropping it, and then rotating it so it looks like this section is straight. That's just one example with cropping. And then what you could do, as I mentioned before, and this is with um, future projects, if you notice I have uh, two windows open there, a vanishing point and, and that, so what I'll do is I'll minimize one, like so. Take the move tool, move it over here. Then I'll close out of this one and not save the changes. Expand this one and now see that's one one reason people crop is they might create a different colored background and a border. Um, but you notice I chose a higher resolution so that meant when I zoomed in on this section which was very small in that picture um, I'm still going to retain the detail because I chose a 72 ppi. So there's a little bit about cropping.